Now, our system makes you part of a much bigger team. Mm. So therefore, you can rely on the expertise of many more people. Yeah. 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 And your story, as well as the example you gave earlier, reminds me of the illusion that um, I can definitely see myself having before, and I see the people around me having. And that's the illusion that somehow we can learn everything on our own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We we subscribe to different email newsletters. We we read different journals. We, without realizing it, we fall into the trap of thinking that we can keep up with this with this advancement. Either that, yeah. or we go into the give up mode. Yeah. Totally overwhelmed. Yes. That is the funniest thing. You only need to do what you best at. And what's <laughs> what's interesting to me is I have investment seminars all over the world. I talk about investment all the time. And what people that listen to me never realize is I don't ever make a single investment decision. Never. I don't trust myself. I'm a creator. So I'm, I don't trust myself to make investment decisions. I've got a partner who's absolutely brilliant at making investment decisions. He makes those decisions. I just create a playing field where he can play and where he does what he is best at. So I look at opportunities all the time. I listen to investment opportunities every day of my life. But I will never trust myself to make the final decision on an investment opportunity because I know that's not my gift. Mm. So in a way you've created a playing field yeah. where each person has an opportunity to find out what their gift is, exactly. whether it's in terms of your calling or sole purpose, yeah. whether it's in terms of your personal passion, yeah. or it's in the area of a specific investment opportunity. Yes. And then you contribute that gift back into the group so that the group can leverage each other's gifts, yeah. each other's expertise, absolutely, and each other's absolutely. experience. That's and as a result of yeah. you, A, learning from each other, and then B, leveraging each other's expertise, yes. the ability for us to make a sound decision together yeah. effectively increases. Effectively increases. Um, and, and because the system works this way, and it's part of this learning experience, and, and where different people from on different levels participate, the, the possibilities are just endless. Um, I look at, at one opportunity, and, uh, and you bring in sophisticated investors, you bring in very rich people, you bring in people that just start off in their investment journey, and once they've all looked at this opportunity, they see different ways of structuring the opportunity, different ways of, 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 of uh, drawing up the contract, different ways of combining this opportunity with other existing opportunities or partners. By the end, by the time everybody is finished with this opportunity thinking about it, it's just something new. And mm. that is sometimes, we pre I don't even talk about our returns anymore, because every single time I talk about the returns first, people say, no, this is not possible, and they withdraw. Of course it's not. I think from a middle class thinking, yeah. and or from the perspective that previously were uh, the most retail investors have no access to those type of yeah. investment opportunities, it's true that it's not possible because yeah. in the world that they, they're standing in, in the yeah. worldview that they're standing in, yeah. it is not possible. Yeah, exactly. And I was in that worldview before. <laughs> yeah. I was very much trapped yeah. out of, you know, inside of that middle class, out of uh, false comfort, yeah. out of knowing that I can rely on ex uh, uh, work experience, yeah. rely on yeah. expertise, whatever it is yeah. that I thought I was relying yeah. on. And in the end, in today's economy, even when the best talent gets retrenched, yeah. Yeah. even the best tr talent gets yeah. cut back, yeah. because even what we thought were the best corporations yeah. are falling away. Yeah. That's where the true risks are surfacing, is that we don't have the, the personal financial responsibility to manage our own money is what's killing us. That's exactly, you know, one of the biggest compliments I ever had was a woman that came to me and said, you made me fall in love with an area of my life I would never even considered as important. Once you start playing this game and look at the creative possibilities of structuring an investment opportunity, of playing around with different ideas, of combining this opportunity with other opportunities out there, with bringing in partners that could add value, whatever the... It is such a creative process, so mm. interesting. It is exhilarating. It is more than exhilarating because you're putting money down. It is 
uh, adrenaline pumping. And Absolutely exciting. exciting. And people just start enjoying this game, which is a serious game because it's not just a game, it's a game where you actually put down money. Um, but people start enjoying this game and just falling absolutely in love with it. Wow. And then I've got to warn them again, it's not about making money. Mm. That's just, it's about the purpose behind it. Mm. Because you know what, every time the, the focus becomes money, you lose it. And I've seen this happen to people every single time. When the focus becomes money and not the purpose behind it, um, money itself can never be a purpose on its own. It just cannot be. It's never yeah. meant to be. I think when the focus is on the money, uh, what I've observed is that people either get it over exhilarated yeah. and or um, too depressed from, from the <laughs> yeah. mistakes so that we actually allow yeah. the emotions yeah. to impact us yeah. instead of looking at this as just a step in my learning journey. Yeah. I'm curious, have you played the cash flow game? Yes, of you course. have. I've done the Robert Kiyosaki course, the Rich Dad course, the, uh, well, the, the Rich Dad Academy, Academy course, uh, I think in 2006 and 2007. And um, at that stage, I was, I was uh, nominated the top student in the world, and it was a, a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed it. My, my, my wealth coach was Lindsay Indu, and we had a great time uh, thinking about wealth creation. And that that's that's the time I learned one thing, that every, sing, every single time I made money and I, I became hilarious, what's the right word, I became very exhilarated, exhilarated excited about, I lost that money. <laughs> so I learned to say, when I make money, I say, thank you, thank you, I love you, thank you that you're in a bank, and then I continue to focus on what I need to do. Just knowing I've got bigger fish to fry. I see. So it's almost true, or, or it's almost like saying in an investment game, too much happiness is dangerous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, can celebrate. You become overconfident, or what? I don't know what happens, but every time I I get too happy about the money I make, I lose it. Mm. And every time I I just acknowledge that money and go back to focusing on my purpose, then that's when I stay focused. So I've learned to appreciate money, but not to get delirious about it. Fantastic. Would it be almost true to say that you've now given people the opportunity to play the cash flow game in real life? <laughs> I never thought of that. That's a brilliant way of thinking about it. And that's exactly what happens. We're playing the cash flow game so in teams. In teams, yeah. in real life. We give people the opportunity to play the cash flow game in real life. 